Hi you guys. Um, I did my makeup kind of roughly this morning, but I want to show a product I don't show enough. And Nick and I are actually going on a date tonight, so I'm getting kind of dressed up. We don't ever, it's not that we don't ever do this, but it's been a very long time since we have done it. But this is our refresh wipe and these are amazing for removing your makeup. They take the makeup off, but they have really good ingredients in them and it makes your skin feel really good. So I love using this at night to take my makeup off. What I'll do is I will either do this first and then go in and cleanse, or I will cleanse and then do a second cleanse with these wipes to make sure I got everything. They're really, really so refreshing. Like the refresh net, refresh wipes name is perfect because my skin just feels like like the best kind of tingle like not like stinging or anything it's just like like a, a drink of water on my skin right now that's how it feels so I'm going to do some date night makeup we have a pub here in town um, that we actually went to, gosh, two and a half years ago when we first checked out the homes out here and we were eating in the restaurant when we put an offer on our house and found out we got it. So it was, it's pretty special to us. So Nick has some training stuff coming up. So we wanted to get in to eat night before he left. But these again are the refresh wipes. They are so, so good. Um, they have the milk serum. Um, coconut oil, honey, um, aloe, witch hazel, so many, so many good things. So definitely check that out if you have not yet. So I'm going to be working out of my 3D Compact. This is my all-in-one makeup compact. I probably will be changing out a couple colors because this is what I use pretty much daily. But I did just get a new lip and cheek color I want to try tonight. And um, I may change up my contour, I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna just jump right in here. So the Refresh Wipes feel amazing. I am gonna go in with my Sheer Joy. It's from Beauty Society. It's a serum skincare. And it has a little bit of coloring in it. It's really not a lot. So if you don't wanna wear any makeup but have like a little bit of a, a tint, it gives that slightly. For me, it's not enough, but it has your skincare built in. So I like to do that after I do my refresh wipes just to put some good product into my, my skin, get it prepped like that. And then I will take my stay spray and prep it. So a few things I like to do different for date night is I will go a little bit more full coverage than like my normal light to medium coverage that I've been wearing in the summer. Um, I'll use, I'll either keep the same contour I have, which is Astoria. I love Astoria. But if I wanna go a little deeper, I will go to Indigo. So you can change out your contour to make it a little bit more dramatic. And then when you go into Brighton, you're gonna wanna brighten with an even brighter color just to really give you that dimension. Um, so that's kind of the things I'm going to do today and then um, try out that new color, which I'm going to grab right now. Right here. This is the color of the month. It's called Wallflower. It's so pretty. As always, I like to take my blush bronzer brush into Tanline's bronzer. And I will put a wash of this all over. And I say this almost every day now because I've been wearing it almost every day. It bridges that gap between the darkest colors on your face and the lightest colors. So if you have any type of something going on in your skin, whether it's melasma, rosacea, broken capillaries, breakouts, freckles, dark circles, whatever you have, 
it's just giving a bit of color. Um, I'm gonna take it out just so I can kind of work a little faster. So. so it just adds a little bit of warmth, but it bridges that gap between the light and the dark on your face. So when you go into highlight and contour, you don't have to use as much to kind of bridge that gap between the two, if that makes sense. So the fluffy side just picks up a little bit and then I'm just, you know, lightly feathering it on. It's nothing perfect. And then I'll put some down my neck a bit. It's pretty close to my like tan that I have going on from the summer. Okay, so let's jump into our makeup. So I'm going to stick with, in, or not indigo, I'm gonna stick with Astoria. And just kind of chisel that out a little bit more than I normally do. And kind of make it go on a little bit thicker than I normally do. So still just tapping into the product. It's all right here on, or in my compact. Just tap, tap, tap. See that? I'm just putting that product where it needs to go and it's going to give me dimension and shape, lift, and it's also got coverage. It also has coverage, not got coverage. I like a hillbilly. It also has coverage. So it's color correcting my cheek areas, which are my reddest. So I don't have to put an extra layer of foundation there because it's already color correcting. My jawline's one of my favorite parts because you just follow that natural jawline and then blend it down. And then that little pocket, go right there. Just like that. Take these sides of my brush to do a little bit of nose contouring. Okay. I'm going to put whatever's left on my brush. I'm just going to tap it onto my lid because my lids are always uneven. So putting a bit of your foundation, whether it's your contour or your highlight color there, it's going to help even that out, which is amazing. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and come around my lips. And this can be kind of messy and you can always fix it later, but it just helps to shadow your lips even more. <laughs> Looks a little crazy, I know. Then I'm going to go in with my highlight color. And this is our buff brush. So if you want a full coverage brush, you are going to grab the buff brush. She is full coverage, she is dense, she is wonderful for that full coverage makeup if that's what you're wanting. Our other like our 3D brush and our detail brush, they can get to full coverage. It's just going to take a little building. And then um, our blush bronzer brush, I would say is light to medium coverage as you build it up. And our blend brush is very light coverage. So 
this one's hard to go light coverage with. You're not gonna like it. So I'm just gonna paint by numbers my face with my highlight color. to color correct all those areas. And you literally just tap, tap, and you get the product on this brush. It's so pigmented. So a little bit goes a long way. This is great for covering redness because it just really packs that product on. So remember to just literally tap once or twice into the product because you don't want too much. Like I'm just glowing because of what, two colors? So I will kind of put that on and then I'll take my blush bronzer brush to kind of spread it around a little bit more. Make sure it's not like too thick. And really it's not that much makeup because I'm literally just tapping a couple taps in. So it's just how much it puts on and how dense it puts it on. So that's why it's coming off stronger because it's a full coverage brush. So then I will soften those contour lines like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna just lightly dust that. Mm, I love it. Fix any spots you need. Then um, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. So this is Bella. And this will add that warmth. And I'll go on my contour, but slightly above, and kind of a she, she, a C shape around my eye. And that just warms up my face even more. So again, right here above my brow, the high points of my cheeks, and literally just a tap tap into your product to get a little bit, and then you'll spread it on. It's all just like little tapping motions. Bring some down my neck. Now wearing a dress like this, I'm definitely going to put some illuminator on my collarbone, put some bronzer on my chest, just to warm me up a little bit. Okay. It's dress. I love it. Okay. Then... I'm gonna go into my brows because they're bothering me. So that, and then I just got this in the mail, so I'm going to add a little bit of this. Let's stick it and stick it with this medium brown. So that pencil was kind of a cooler tone brown, and then this helps to keep them in place, but adding a little bit of warmth, which I like. This will actually lift them too if you like a fluffy brow. I don't, <laughs> so I'm going to tame that down once I kind of... Put it on there. I'm gonna just take a spoolie. If I can find one. This will do. And just bring those feathers down because I don't like that at all. <laughs> At least not on me. I think it looks pretty on a lot of people, but 
not my cup of tea. Okay, um, I'm going to add my brightener. And this brush just really puts it on. So literally one little dab. And you just kind of press it in. Put it on the tip of my nose, like that bridge between that contour line. Right there, my Cupid's bow. Right here between my, whatever that is, my inner corner. And then I'm just kind of feathering it up. And then I'm going to take what's left over on my blush bronzer brush and just kind of blend that in to soften it. But man, that just brightens you up completely. A little bit here. And then I'll take a chisel of it right there. just like that to really define that contour not that pretty love Bella. Okay, let's jump into our um, new lip and cheek. Um, real quickly too, with my damp perfector from my spray, I don't even dampen it all the time, you guys, to be honest. I just spray it with my stay spray so it gets damp, and I'll use that side to press my makeup in. Now this is just making sure I'm not heavy handed with any of my makeup. Okay, so this is Wallflower. She has a really pretty packaging. She's this really pretty, like, peachy pink. I'm really excited about her, so I'll show you up close. Ooh, she's got the feel of a Biza. Ooh, it's like a peachy nude. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna just warm it up because this one's not like crazy pigmented, so you gotta work it in a little bit. And then I'm going to put this on my cheeks. Oh my gosh, I love it already. Let me find. I love this brush to apply my blush. This is a Demi brush. They're on sale right now. Look how pretty that color is. Oh my gosh. So it's not a matte, but it's not a gloss. It's like just the right in between. It's got a little bit of slick to it, but not glossy and not like drying matte. It's, it's got like the perfect little texture. So pretty. It's not, yeah, that's my brush. Is that the brush I was using? Okay. I really like that. That's pretty. 
let's take our perfume illuminator. Because I want that glow and that smell of summer perfection. And that's where I'm going to put it down here on my collarbone. Just like that. Do a little bit here. A little shimmer, shimmer. I don't know where my lip brush is, so I'm going to use this, this suede, it's right here again in my compact, everything's in my compact, minus my wallflower, but I'm going to put that in, and all you have to do is either get a big enough compact that will hold new colors or just pop out a color you're not using. So I'm gonna pop out Saint Tropez because I don't need Saint Tropez because I have wallflower and it's magnetic. So you just slide it out of the tin and apply it just like that. Not apply it, but put it in a go in that's pretty I probably didn't even need a lip line with that one. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit of boardwalk on top. Just to add a little bit of pink, because I think I doled it out a little too much with my suede, because my lips are super pink naturally, and I probably should have just put it over. We'll try it next time. But I'm going to tap in my makeup, and then I'm gonna go in with my powders, and my shadow. I'm going to go in with chai in my crease. Chai is a beautiful neutral tone, good transition shade, good one to kind of come up high on your brow bone. This is like the first day in a while I really liked my brows. Then I'm going to go in with that Sedona in my crease. just go back and forth in that crease to deepen it 
with a warm brown. Sedona Bubba. Sedona is so beautiful though. Um, Leo, Zion, Havana. Any of those warm browns would be really pretty on that inner corner or in that outer corner and crease. Sorry, I get babbling and I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to take that color down here. Okay, then I'm going to take just a bit of Sabrina on that inner corner. It's a really pretty champagne color. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this really pretty shimmer. I think it's hot cocoa. This is such a pretty color, that hot cocoa. Let's see, use that one right there. Okay, then I'm going to stay again. Come on in. Press it. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, barbecue. Barbecue? Yeah. Is there some left? Yeah. Sure. Look. Yep, go for it. I'm just pressing in all that makeup. Um, my bracelet just got stuck on my dress. Then I'm gonna take my vanilla dust with my damp perfector. And it gets a little bit of that powder right there. And this helps to mattify while still being damp on those areas that I start to either get shiny or um, sweaty, that kind of thing. Okay, let's see. I really like him. I like this color a lot. So I'm gonna grab We'll flower back out because I like to do this. So that's pretty. Perfect. 
Jennifer Perfume Illuminator on your Cupid's Bow. And that's my day night look. I hope you guys liked it. So if you um, want to try our refresh wipes, this is your sign to try them. It's great for freshening up between, like say you went to the pool all day or you were running around doing errands and you just wanted to freshen up for a date night. Using this and like redoing your makeup, you can absolutely do that. These are great for nighttime before bed when you're taking your makeup off. They're just so, so good on the skin. My skin feels clean and like hydrated at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, but these are definitely a must have in your collection if you wanna try it. I highly recommend them. And then if you want your own one compact makeup, you can literally put all the colors you want in here, magnetized, however you want in whatever size compact you want. Um, just send me a message and say um, makeup or color match me. You can also go to the link in my bio and fill out the color match form and I can speak with you through that. That literally tells me everything that you'll need. Um, and I will color match you with all the stuff that you could use, um, your basics to having everything you need in one compact. And then um, there's also a collections tab. So if you don't want to get color matched, like personally by me, you can go on my website and there's a collections tab and you can kind of look at your skin tone to see which one would match you best. Um, I'm a level three with amber being my main color, if that's just kind of a reference for you. I need a color dark enough to color correct my redness. So, um, but I would love to like help color match you because that's my job. I love doing it and um, it's just fun. But it makes getting ready fun, easy. Um, I love how my skin looks and feels after putting this on. I get so many compliments. My husband even loves how quick and easy it is, but also how pretty it makes my skin and brings out like the best features of yourself. So um, definitely give it a try. If you hate it, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. Um, we can do exchanges for 60 days. So if you get a color you're not in love with, you can always switch it out and try something different. So I would love to help you. Um, and thanks for hanging out with me while I get ready. I'm gonna see where my husband's at. He's busy doing something downstairs. So I'm gonna get him ready because I'm ready and I wanna go eat. So I'll see you guys later.